Hi friends, today we are drawing spiders. I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Your spiders are drummers, aren't they? <laughs> My spiders are creepy crawling. For this fun project, you will need scissors, three markers, blue, yellow, and red, a sharpie, a pencil, some googly eyes, black paper, white paper, and just a little bit of glue. Let's start! Okay, we're gonna start, start with a piece of black paper and a pencil or a marker. And all you do is make a kind of a big circle. Very good. And then we have another one, slightly smaller circle. Very good. Now we need eight legs for the spider. The easiest way to do it is just cut the strips of paper over here on the side. So we need only four strips. One, two, three, and four. There we go. I wonder if they can see it. Yeah, they can see it. Cool. So this is going to be the body of the spider, the bigger part. The smaller part is going to be the head. And the lines over here that we drew, we're going to cut them into legs. So let's start with that. Okay, so when you cut, make sure you're cutting your scissors basically stay in one place and your paper is what moves, okay? Okay, so I got four legs over here. Now we're gonna cut the body of the spider. Again, my scissors stay in the same spot and my paper is what moves most of the time. So there's my body. And this is gonna be my head of the spider. So, my little helper cut his spider out already over here. That's going to be our spider. This is going to be my spider. I guess my spider is bigger, chunkier. So, now we're going to glue it together. Uh, we're going to use little brushes like this and just a little bit of glue. We don't need a lot. So, the, the first step we're going to put the body and the head together. All we need to do, come on, is take the body over here, put a dab of glue put the head on top. Remember you don't need a lot, just a tiny bit is, should do. Alright, now we're going to turn the spider upside down. So he's laying on his back with the belly up. And we're going to put our legs on it, just like this. Again, just a dab of glue. And there we go, we got two legs. We got four legs, and it's okay to crisscross them over here because we're not going to see this part after we're done. We got six legs. How many do you have? Oh, you got four so far. Oh, and glue on your arm. <laughs> and my spider now has eight legs. Spider's gonna look nice. Okay, but we need more legs. Spiders have eight legs. Uh, mom. Ah. Um, three, oh, six. Uh huh. See, you have extra legs over here. Yeah. 
Okay. So now press on it just to make sure that the legs will get stuck really good. And then we're going to turn it again where you can see the spider. Ooh, my spider's creepy crawly. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. How's yours? Yes, good. Okay, if the long legs happen to be too long, you can always cut them a little bit, but we're going to do that later. Now we need to put eyes on the spider. Um, I like googly eyes. Do you like googly eyes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. So we have little bitty googly eyes. Take just a dab of glue. Put it where it's supposed to be for the eyes. And there's my spider. Ooh, my spider is smiling. Your spider is serious, but that's okay either way. So we're gonna let this spider dry for a little bit. Oh, hello, baby spider. Hello, baby spider. Oh, your eye came off. That's that's the reason why it needs to be glued, and then we should wait a few minutes before we play with it. Now your spider only has one eye. Okay. Eye <laughs> spider. Okay, so once you glue your eyes, don't mess with the spider just for a couple of minutes so it will dry. And while it's drying, we are going to make a web. So we grab a piece of paper, we fold it corner to corner. Like that. Now we fold it again corner to corner. You know what? And let's just be done with it at this point. I think we're going to be good with this. Okay? So, we folded it twice. It looks like a little book right now. We're going to open it again. And we should have two creases in the middle of the page. Over here and over here. This will help us to make a beautiful spider web. Right there. So we can see it. Okay, so now take a black marker and make a dot in exactly the middle of the page. You know where the middle of the page is because you made a crease there. That is going to be the middle of your spider web. That's where the whole thing is going to start. Now we're going to make a line on the creases. So there's one over here. I'm going to make a crease over here. That's the line we already saw. Good job. Now we make another line on the other crease. Good job. Now we're also going to make a couple more lines from corner to corner over here. So from one corner to the other, make sure it's going right in the middle. And then again from the other corner to the bottom corner all the way through the middle. Very good. So now what we should have is basically a foundation for our spider web. Now this is the fun part. We're going to start making a web and the web is not exactly straight. It's um, just a little bit leaning towards the middle every time. So see how it is right there? Mm -hmm. It's leaning towards the middle and then it's connected every time like that. So you take one and you go to the next, very good, and then again the next one all the way. It doesn't have to be perfect, sometimes it might be a little bit longer, sometimes it might be a little shorter. See how this one is longer and this one is shorter and that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect but it always connects to the foundation lines. That's okay, keep working on it, that's good, that's good. So I made my first, I don't want to say it's a circle, it's not a circle, but my first round. And I'm gonna make several more of these. Again, every time it leans towards the middle a little bit, kind of a little bit of a curve. Okay, keep doing it. Um, we need to have at least maybe five or six lines like this. If you need to move the paper a little bit to get a better line, 
You can do that. Oh, my spider's traveling with me now. <laughs> Okay, so our spider webs are ready, but we're gonna make them even more beautiful. We're gonna use some primary colors, which is red, there we go, yellow, there we go, and blue. And we're gonna color our web, but we're gonna pick only a few pieces of the web to color that. Okay? So let's go ahead and start doing that. So, I'm gonna color this little spot right here red, because I like red. And I'm gonna color this part red. Remember, these are primary colors. They are the colors that are the most basic colors. And with these colors, you can make pretty much any other color. That's why they're called primary. You can pick as many or as few of the spots, as long as you use three different colors. Once we are done with our spider web, wonderful, wonderful. Look how different they are, even though we started with the same idea. So then we're gonna get our glue again and our spiders. Go ahead and get your spider and decide where you want your spider to be on your spider web. It can be right in the middle if you want it to be. It can be on the side. It can be even sticking out off the paper just like this. That's okay either way. Once you decide where you want your spider, Grab your glue brush, put some, here, I don't know where my glue brush, oh, I'm sorry, I stole yours, there's my glue brush right here. I stole mine. <laughs> so, then put some glue on the belly of the spider, and on the head of the spider, just like that, not too much, but enough where it's going to stick and then place the spider where you want it to be. I think I'm gonna put it... Huh. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here. My spider's gonna be... See, his legs are actually off the spider web. Oh. Mine are sorta. See right there? It's gonna be a little bit off the spider web. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He's a very happy spider. Almost done, guys. You can show it really close if you want. Oh, too close, too close. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That's our spiders on the web. Okay. Well, I hope I never see a spider this big in real life. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give a thumbs up. <laughs>